Back in the day, a relevant rapper would look something like this. A lot of off-white, V-Lone, and very clearly streetwear and designer brands. But nowadays, a relevant rapper would look something like this. And I'm not saying Cutty's the first to have this dark aesthetic. ASAP Rocky was rocking Rick Owens and All Black back in the early 2010s. But him and the rest of the, his signees on his label Opium have clearly been the flag bearers of this aspect. Oh, and you're probably trying to emulate this look. So this is how to dress Opium. But before we continue this video, make sure to like and subscribe and follow your boy on Instagram to check out my fit pics as well. Trying to get to 10k. So let's get into this video with maximum efficiency. So what is Opium? Opium is Playboy's Cardi label in which he assigned artists Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely and Homicide Gang They therefore taking over the music and fashion scene at the moment And they are unavoidable on my For You page Then joke about clothes, whatever Some cool shit, bro, he's just my homie It's like, it's, it's more of a homie relationship than it is a business relationship I say that for sure This aesthetic definitely draws a lot of inspiration from gothic, punk and grunge culture And also involves a lot of avant-garde pieces as well Start off with colour and you'll really want to go for that darker vibe because all black fit, that's the perfect attire. Sometimes you might be wearing earth tones like it's easy season, but if not, it's going to be very much monochromatic with fits being black and white. Move on to the trousers. Since you're mainly going to be wearing all black, you want to experiment with different textures. So you might be wearing a lot of fur, wax denim and leather. And since you're going to be playing around with proportions, you can either step out in skinny jeans or you could wear the baggiest of pants. As long as it's either Rick Owens, Alix or Balenci, you're gonna be good. But make sure the jeans are not too skinny bro. You're not from ATO. Plus you want your legs to breathe, yeah? You need to make sure that you're getting some blood circulation to your knees. Your leg is not happy the way it is. You are blocking your leg from fresh air. So next we're gonna move on to the tops. Like I said with this look, you're gonna be playing around with your proportions a lot. So you could really wear a black compression top with, with black cargoes that are really baggy and you'd still look good. But remember, you're also trying to play around wearing different things. So even wearing something like a mesh top as well would look pretty steady as well and suit this kind of aesthetic. But remember, as Opium's latest signee, you really need a leather jacket, bro. This could just be a normal leather jacket or it could be a leather trench coat. Just anything to sort of achieve this modern day rock star sort of look and another thing in order to get this opium sort of look is you need to have a t-shirt that just says the most outlandish thing on it Bad nuclear weapons they thought i was gay bad bitch pussy for breakfast bro just make sure that it's random make sure it doesn't make sense here it needs to be a bit humorous like people should look at your shirt and be like yeah that's that's some wild shit right there i know some people try to do this whole business core thing with the whole opium look but i'll be honest i'm not really a fan of it if you're not going to a smart dinner, a meeting or something like that, something that's important, then don't wear a suit and tie, you get what I'm saying? You're not Slick Sid, you're not Batman, yeah, you're not Lord Sugar, like bro, like broski, why are you wearing a suit and a tie to go to a concert bro? Make it make sense. Now it's time for my favourite part, the shoes, the preps. So, in terms of shoes, you do have a couple of options. You could wear black boots or anything black or anything boots you get what i'm saying but ideally you should be wearing designer so you can wear like some balenci but you know we don't support pedophiles around here came out with those stupid oversized shoes balenciaga the pedophiles they're pedophile shoes or you could wear Givenchy, or you could wear whatever but really and truly if you want to be an opium member you need to be wearing rick owens bro rick owens everything rick from head to toe you need to be wearing as much Rick Owens as possible to the point that you look like Rick Owens himself. One brand wizard fashion MS. And in terms of Rick, you can wear anything. Geo baskets, Ramones, Dark Shadow. Like it really doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, I don't even think Rick Owens even designs Rick any small. I'm pretty sure it's his boyfriend Tyrone that does all of it nowadays. And it's sad because Rick doesn't even credit any of these rappers that are rapping about him in the music. Bro really listens to techno and whatever randomness he listens to in Italy. Okay, so now you've got the opium look, but that's not enough, bro. You don't need to just look opium. You don't need to dress opium. You need to live it, bro. You need to have, have the lifestyle. But let's get into the miscellaneous items. In terms of accessories, I'm not sure if these lot are on the shaitan team. I'm pretty sure they do worship like shaitan. You know, Carti does have a couple questionable tattoos. I stuff for a lot. Like, man, don't really 
support his music personally but they be wearing a lot of upside down crosses and stuff the more demonic looking your fit the more opium it is and in terms of jewelry don't wear gold it's either silver or white gold do you get what i'm saying to match the dark sort of vibes and aesthetic and remember you are a rock star and as a rock star you're gonna either need a guitar or you're gonna need some sort of belt chain in terms of your chains your bracelets and other things you need to make sure that you're either wearing video Westwood or you're wearing an elite chain hat if not an elite chain then an elite backpack just as much elite accessories as possible basically when you're taking your fit pics in order to achieve this opium aesthetic you need to take your pics in 0.5 and when you're taking them in 0.5 you need to make sure that your legs look as long as possible bro these opium mfs have the weirdest builds like none of them have like a normal body shape like the stroll only is basically built like et bro but then again i'm not trying to be a judger bro don't be a judger people come around judging it's a big turn off don't be a judger bro don't be a judger let god leave and occasionally you might have to raise your leg to the camera as well because it kind of looks cool as well another thing that these opium guys be doing is they make their exposure very very high to the point that the pic looks really bright or they make it very very low to the point that you can't see anything there's no in between really and when you're posting your fit pic make sure that you disappear in the last slide so when you're flicking through it the last slide should just be the background of the previous picture without you in it so it just looks like you vanished basically in terms of locations for your fit pics, you either have to take it in the most dilapidated, most neglected space, or you need to find like a concrete wall or like a church, and then you're swagging my boy. And in terms of poses, the sillier, the better, you know. If you don't look at your phone and think, yeah, this pose is mad, zesty and goofy, then you're not opium, bro. You need to make sure that shit looks as crazy as possible, bro. And in terms of haircuts, if you're black, you're going to want to get dreadlocks, bro. You're going to want to get locks. Once you get your dreads, you need to dye them either red or grey to really complete the look. But if you're half-hearted about it, you can get half grey and half black. But not least, you need to fetishize Asian women. You, you need to go and get yourself an Asian girlfriend to use as an accessory in your fit pics. So the most important part, you're going to need to download Reddit and go on r slash fashion reps because you're not able to afford actual Rick and Balenci. You're going to need to go and get Rack and Balenkanko from Panda Bay. You're gonna become a panda by a warrior, a tau by a titan, a regal by a warrior. If you do wanna get signed as an actual rapper, you're gonna need to find a rage beat and you know, start posting your music on SoundCloud and start, you know, start rapping about your fits and just how other people are copied you. But now you've completed all of the steps and you've finally become an opium warrior. But don't go anywhere. Don't I'm go not, anywhere. I'm not. Don't go anywhere. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're trying to see more how to dress content. And if you want to see my fit pics, then head over to my Instagram. We out.